don't get to that party, I'll die. Party? You guys are like seven. Stop treating us like kids. We're tweens. Ooh, gummy vitamins. We know how things work. What the f How hard is it to remember when you guys are putting this together what it was like to be 12? I mean, we, we've we been talking, I mean, Gina and I have been friends for almost 20 years and we, we've always been talking about that time. And I think, I don't know, at least for me, I have such vivid memories of being in sixth grade. I remember walking from my house to a video store when there were video stores and my friend David Schwarzman and like a bunch of high school kids in a Jeep uh, screamed at us and I thought that we were gonna die that day. And it was like, you know, I probably, we probably walked about a mile, mile and a half. And I, I mean, we were so tired at the end of it. So I think like, you know, the kind of the short road trips and all that kind of stuff, those are things that we really yeah. remembered. Also, uh, when I was in my early 20s, I was a nanny for Harold Ramis and whose sons were that age. So as a young adult, I got a dose of 12-year-old boy's behavior. So that, yeah. I mean, it's so crazy to think like how big a difference is it is it is between being 12 and 14. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, Looking at them from now, from last year when we filmed with them, they've all gotten bigger. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's crazy. Well, we talked. We had, we met with a producer at one point. It was like, you know, I think this would be great if they were freshmen in high school. And it was like, no, no, no. They need to be in sixth grade. Like that is a very specific time. Some of them are into girls. Some of them aren't into girls. It's that's a it's a, it has a completely different energy. The more that they know about the world, and we wanted them to be really innocent, and uh, and kind of learn and grow throughout the movie, and not kind of be informed enough. Yeah, and the stuff that they kind of know, but they like have wrong, or they yeah, know, but they yeah. halfway know. Like yeah. they know. They know They've words. heard the term, but yes. they don't necessarily know what it really means. Yes. yes. They all have a little information. Yeah. yeah. What do you have in your pants? My penis. Pull it out. I also have a big dick. Put it back. I'm being generous today. We also have drugs. <sighs> he was on to us. I will say that the kids feel very now. Do you know what I mean? Like it feels very 2019. Like there's the stuff about consent. Like, oh, we had the consent assembly. And like the names are very 2019. Um, <laughs> we spent, it, we probably spent 95% of our time coming up with the names of the characters and then 5% writing the script where there's a lot of, <laughs> the names changed a lot. Thor was, I think Thor kind of stuck around for yeah. a long time, but yeah. yeah. Max used to be Quentin. <laughs> oh yeah? yeah? Brixley is a really good Brixley one. Brixley was a good one. Soren. We were very proud of that. Yeah. Soren, we were happy with. I think we made up Brixley. I don't think it's anyone's name. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Hopefully it will be. Yeah. Yeah. It probably will be. I mean, those like the double vowels. Atticus. It's like a yeah. classic. Yeah. 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 Atticus. Um, There's two Atticuses. Atticus L. There's another Atticus. I was going to say, that was like, <laughs> such a nice, like, yeah, Atticus L. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have heard this yet, but a, a, a guy walked out of the movie last night. Yeah, we, we heard. heard. <laughs> Di diabolical. Um, he said so, the yeah. perfect word. I mean, yeah. like, you couldn't, like, if we scripted it, he never would have said diabolical. It's oh, way better yeah. than we could have come up with. Like, I was going to say, do you feel like you're pushing boundaries or that, like, we we were all really confused because we were like, what did he think this movie was? You right. Know what I mean? <laughs> right. Um, but like, do you feel like people are going to be surprised by this movie? No, then? not right. I mean, the trailer. If you've seen the trailer, you get a sense of yeah. what the movie is. Also, it's not. You know, it's not really diabolical. The kids are sweet. Nothing bad actually happens to them. Yeah. They kind of survive this day. So. And we've, um, and we've shown the movie now to people of all ages, and not every single person, but no one has said diabolical. It's the first person who's walked out of it. I think that I think that old people <laughs> can like the movie. I don't think that it's a I don't think that it's a question of age necessarily. I think that everyone remembers being twelve and there's a nostalgia to it and yeah. being on your bikes and all that stuff I think I think can work for everyone. Yeah. My guess is that's probably not the first movie he's walked out of and screamed something. So Yeah. So what do you plan to do with those drugs, huh? Take them and feel amazing. They're addicts. So, you've been drugging your whole life? Uh-huh. Every day. No? Nice. This movie is a, is a, is a quick movie. It's like a tight, yeah. it's under 90, right? It's, I think, 90. 90 yeah. on the nose. Um, was that intentional? Like, were you guys like, we're gonna make a comedy? It's well, movies be, are too down. long, in general. I think most movies are, 90% of movies are way too long. Uh, pacing is so important in comedy. Yeah. Um, you have to keep it going. We've all seen those comedies where you're just kind of, you're just like, okay, let's, let's you know, let's get through this part, get back to the funny stuff. So in editing, we were very... Um, we were really hard on ourselves yeah. too. I mean, if a joke didn't quite work or, you know, we do test screenings and if something was like, oh, that the audience kind of laughed and, and you, you, you actually play the laugh track while you're editing and you're like, did they laugh there? Is it, are they missing that joke? And, you know, it's not scientific, but you do kind of approach it and you're like, well, if we cut that thing, then the scene kind of moves to the next one a little bit easier. And you start, you start trimming things out that you thought you were certain you were gonna keep forever. 
and then the movie just starts kind of taking a life of, taking a life of its own and feeling sharper and you know shorter and tighter. Oh, yeah. how many husbands does she have? Get out of there, girl! Ah! Nobody even kissed. Well, not in their mouths, at least. 